we're going to have a look at how to rig some of the popular soft plastics, the Live, Sluggo and the Senko. There are slight differences between them. This is the Sluggo we're looking at now. It's actually the 9 inch version, <laughs> which is a little bit big for fishing for bass from the shore, but it should show us how to rig these properly. And they're excellent, these Sluggos. Weighty enough to be able to cast without a weight as well. So having a quick look at the hook, you're going to need a big wide gape to these uh, very, very sharp hooks and that offset shank, uh, you can see the angles there. And what will become apparent is how important this section of the shank is to measuring where to put the point into the lure. For these bigger sluggos, I like these Mystic Predators. These are the 7348 WG. I'll leave a link to these at the bottom offset hook as well. And don't worry too much about it being an offset hook doesn't really unbalance the lure at all. So this is the measurement you need. The hook point's gonna go exactly into the top of the lure, and it's gonna go down as far as this distance here, which is to the first bend between the eye uh, on the shank. So you measure it off. It is important to go right through the middle, bearing in mind this is an offset hook. Um, you still want it to be dead straight through there and then the offset bit will come out on the other side, you'll see in a minute. And then it's simply a case of pushing it through. It's quite good um, soft rubber on this. You can see this one's been done a few times. <laughs> it was me practicing. So in it goes, exactly through the middle, push it along. Uh, you don't need any additives. Some people put oil and stuff to make it more luby, but you don't need that. And then this might look like a very big oversized hook, but I do like the big hooks and all these, and we'll see that on the do live later as well. Just to get it over that last bit, you do need a little bit of a twist. Um, I don't think it makes too much difference whether the eye of the hook goes inside that lure or not. Um, and that is it. So we can see we're almost there. As with all of these, everything through exactly through the middle, Again, bearing in mind we're using an offset hook, it's easier with a, a straight hook. And then you're just going to put the hook straight through the middle of the lure. There's the thumb gauge again showing us where to put the hook through. Uh, but you just need to bend the lure uh, so that when it does straighten out, it's dead straight. And take your time on this bit. I've cheated a little bit because I've had a little practice before I film this. Uh, but each lure is different, each lure is you know, more bendy or Stiffer than the last one, and uh, find that middle spot, and then the hook sits in there. And bass will just hit that so hard, it's fine to tip the point into that little groove. Great, it's a great alternative, these. I'll also show you later why I don't use a lure clip on these. Next up, Gary Yamoto's Senko type lures. Plenty of different versions of these. The smaller thin end is here and then the fat end is where the head is, that's where we're going to screw it in. And it's literally a case of screwing these hooks in, they come with those little screws. I'll leave all the details of these hooks underneath if you struggle to get hold of them. But again, this is a case of taking your time. Hold the hook dead straight, and then you're going to screw the actual lure onto the hook, onto the metal work. Don't want to push it too far so it affects the eye, just need a little gap. I use a little gap where the hook eye uh, meets the actual screw bit because you might have to screw it in a little bit deeper after a few casts so just give myself a little bit of play in there uh, and that's almost it for this one a really simple way of fishing and it, I do recommend you get some of these soft plastics and then similar to what we did before that goes on to the point of the hook so that that lure is dead straight you don't really need to do too much with these lures if you can find some good running salt water. And then again, I just tuck it in to the lure like that. Generally, this will get battered. <laughs> the rats tend to nip at them. And then next up, we're just going to look at the do live, which again is a similar thing. See there with the lure clip, I don't tend to use lure clips with these unweighted ones um, because I think it affects the action. Um, and that's also why I don't use them weighted as well. You can put lead heads on these. And just wanted to show you with the do live stick, two sides, one's got a groove and then one's got those little sort of dots on it. Uh, the hook point goes through the dots and then it will sit in the groove of the hook. So a little introduction into using soft plastics 
Uh, again, I don't know also if you've got any tips that you want to share with anyone. Uh, if you rig them slightly differently, then please by all means show us and put it into the comments underneath. Thanks for watching.